welcome back to my channel zoe here if you're new and today i'm back with another video i'm really excited about doing this off the strength that like obviously we're all in quarantine right now nobody can go anywhere do anything all the spas are closed the nail salons are closed i thought what a better time to do this than to basically show you guys an at-home facial routine that you guys can do this is definitely like a facial on a budget okay i'm not one of those people who are super bougie right now ball in with the skincare like it's super duper chill i will obviously link all of the products below the process of this whole virus situation i think we all need to just breathe a little bit we need to relax we need to pamper ourselves okay so i thought what a better time so if you guys enjoy this video definitely give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time your girl uploads a video and yes let's just get into it So starting off any facial, obviously the first thing you need to do is remove any dirt, oil, or makeup from your face. So I'm first going in with my Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelette um, just to remove the first layer of makeup. And after that, I like to go in a second round with the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. And I like doing this because as you guys will see, a lot of the time when you use a makeup wipe, you do not get all of the makeup off of your face. So I like to go back in just to make sure I'm getting everything off that I can. And after that, I'm going in to wash my face with the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. And I'm just gonna wash my face and we're back <laughs> so basically after that i'm going to put my hair up because i don't want my hair to get in any of the products that i'm going to be using in the video so i'm just going to do that if you don't have a headband like normal people you can use a long sock like i am and i just basically wrap it around the perimeter perimeter of my hair and tie it in the back and after that i'm gonna go in with my clean and clear deep cleansing astringent just to make sure i'm getting all of the again oil left over anything off of my face before i go into the next step so this is gonna look a little confusing but just know that there is a foam piece at the bottom of this and i'm going to be dripping tea tree oil on it and this is basically going to be used in um, my facial steamer which i'm about to show you guys um i literally am obsessed with this thing i love it it is from vanity planet this basically has changed the game for me literally the purpose of it is to open up your pores so it helps the new products afterwards um, work better for you and really clean out your skin so i'm just gonna steam my face and then after that i'm gonna wipe off any excess uh water or oil that's off of my face the first mask I'm going in is the Teamy Blends Detox Mask, and it literally smells so good. It's one of my go-to masks. This mask has matcha, lemongrass, and clay in it, and it, it definitely deep cleans my skin. It makes it feel so good afterwards. I do have a discount code for this, so I'll also pop that up on the screen. Um, so yeah, literally one of my go-to masks. And also, please stay hydrated. That is one of the keys to clear skin. Definitely drink your water. And I'm gonna let that sit and dry. The next mask that I'm going in with is the K Bella Plumping Gold Peel Off Mask. It was just a mask that I had in my house, but it was so cute. I did not know it was gonna be like this sparkly. Um, but it has a whole bunch of gold sparkles in it, which I thought was adorable. And the purpose of this mask is to exfoliate your skin, remove dead skin cells, and leave your skin feeling and looking brighter and more toned. So I'm going to let that sit. I'm going to eat my favorite snack, apples and peanut butter. Dance it out, girl. Enjoy your time while your mask dries. And I'm going to peel it off. And literally, this actually hurt while I was peeling it off because of like the little hair on my face, like the small hairs. Um, but it definitely feel like it took off the dead skin. And then next, I'm going in with a homemade lip scrub it is basically just with honey and sugar and to make this you literally just need to do two parts sugar to one part of honey however much you want to use um and technically you can eat this but i like to wipe it off because i just don't like the concept of eating my dead skin so anyways <laughs> after you're done and you look cute and your lips are hydrated the next thing i'm going in with is the um good molecules hyaluronic acid serum and this serum is formulated to draw moisture into the skin and deeply hydrate 
um and literally i have dry skin so this is one of the perfect ser serums for me so i'm just gonna put that on my face and rub it in i do like to wait at least 10 minutes between each product to make sure that it's soaking in the niacinamide serum i don't know how to pronounce it but it is basically formulated with 10 percent niacinamide to refine skin texture and minimize pores so i'm just going in with that afterwards oh and fun fact about the way that i rub my serum in i love to push upwards instead of down so it doesn't drag my face so after i put in that serum i'm gonna go in with the pure cold pressed rose hip seed oil and it's antioxidant rich facial oil that delivers natural vitamin a and helps restore skin's elasticity and after i do that i like to kind of massage my face and tap in the product so that i can you know stimulate the skin and make sure that it is all going in molecules silicone free priming moisturizer and this is formulated with shea butter macadamia seed oil and plant derived silicone alternative to deeply hydrate and smooth and nourish the skin and literally this moisturizer is one of my faves if you have dry skin i 10 out of 10 recommend this it's not too heavy but it definitely keeps your skin hydrated and last but not least i am going in with these diamond eye eye patches and they are meant to brighten and deep puff your eyes with diamond powder and caffeine extracts um, so I'm going to leave those on for a little bit. Baby. Once I am done with uh, letting that soak for a little bit, I'm going to come in and when I remove them, um, I like to tap in the product under my eye just to make sure that it's all soaked in. And that, you guys, is the end of so you guys that is the end of this diy at home facial as you guys can see i'm looking very glowy moisturized my skin feels just very calm right now um i'm really happy with the results i hope i was able to put you guys onto some new products and some new ways to do a facial at home um literally love you guys so much if you guys enjoyed this video definitely give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time your girl uploads a video and yes i'll see you guys in my next one bye